Hello friends, thanks for stopping by Sefiat Visa Travels. In this channel, we mostly talk about visa-free, e-visa and visa on arrival countries. And we also talk about requirements that you need when applying for a visa. But in this video, we're going to be talking about requirements for a Tanzania visa on arrival. Please, if you haven't subscribed to Sefiat Visa Travels, why not do me a favor by hitting on that subscription button and put on your bell notification button so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. But in this video, we're going to be looking at the requirements for a Tanzania visa on arrival. Applying for a Tanzania visa on arrival, you will need a few documents which are number one is passport. You will need a passport with at least six months left on it to enter Tanzania. You will also need two free adjacent pages in your passport just in case you apply for visa when you arrive. The second document is proof of yellow fever vaccine confirmation. The confirmation of yellow fever vaccine, this isn't required though but is highly encouraged especially if you're visiting other countries in Africa. The certification is required for people from Africa and South America countries. Another document is passport size photo. The photo should be taken against a white background, but if you don't have the passport photo on you, they will take your photo at the airport. And another important document is your air ticket. Confirm air ticket as proof that you will return to your country after the validity period has expired. Another document is bank statement. You may be asked to show evidence of financial means. Your bank statements will be served as evidence of money. It's necessary to demonstrate that you'll be able to handle your finances while staying in your home country. When you are applying for a Tanzania visa on arrival, you will need a few documents which are passport. You need at least six months left on it to enter Tanzania. You will also need two free adjacent pages in your passport just in case you decide to apply for a visa when you arrive. Another document is application form. The form must be filled out completely with accurate information. Make sure you only provide factual information if you offer any false information, your application may be denied. You have to fill the form on arrival at the airport. So friends, these are the documents that we need to put together when applying for a Tanzania visa on arrival. Please, if you haven't subscribed to Sefiat Visa Travels, why not do me a favor by hitting on that red subscription button and put on your bell notification button and stay tuned to Sefiat Visa Travels because in Sefiat Visa Travels, you get to know the visa-free countries, the visa on arrival countries, and e-visa with Tanzania passport and every other African countries. Thanks for stopping by once again and have a blessed day.